stress ulcers in the stress ulcers the main important two ulcers are the cushing ulcers and the curling ulcer so in the curling ulcer it's a most common a type of ulcer occur in severe burns or trauma so curling ulcer occurs in severe burns or trauma and they most likely seen in proximal duodenum in case of cushing ulcer this type of ulcer associated with high intracranial pressure intracranial injury intracranial uh, disease all these conditions the cushing ulcers may occur and these cushing ulcers the most uh, it is commonly seen in stomach duodenum esophagus the ulcers have high incidence of perforation the cushing ulcers have the high incidence of perforation so when we are ta- uh, we are differentiating the cushing ulcers and the curling ulcer firstly what you have to remember is what is the etiology of curling ulcer and the cushing ulcer so in curling ulcer the main etiology is burns trauma heart failure multi organ failure shock all these conditions may precipitate Uh, curling ulcer and in case of burns 35% of the burn cases may get curling ulcer so that is the association between curling ulcer and the burn and where the location of uh, ulcer that is the next point you have to remember the location of ulcer in curling ulcer it common in proximal duodenum in cushing ulcer cushing ulcers seen in esophagus stomach and duodenum and the the most complication of perforation is common in cushing ulcers and next point that you have to remember is the curling ulcer it is caused due to reduced blood supply and systemic acidosis in burns or trauma so we have seen what is curling ulcer right curling ulcer due to burns so in burns what happens there will be reduced blood supply to all areas okay so uh, there will be systemic acidosis too so both these features that leads to ulcer formation in curling ulcer but in case of cushing ulcer cushing ulcer it is due to gastric acid hypersecretion due to vagal nuclei stimulation so it is due to nerve stimulation mainly the cushing ulcer mainly in, uh, occurs due to intracranial problems right intracranial uh, injury intracranial pressure intracranial space occupying lesions all this may cause cushing ulcer so uh, it is uh, the cushing ulcers caused by gastric acid hypersecretion due to vagal nuclei stimulation next point is when we are talking about the clinical features of uh, curling ulcer and cushing ulcers both ulcers have the uh, features of bleeding hematemesis melina and coffee brown uh, appearance okay all this uh, abdominal pain all these features it's common in both curling ulcer and cushing ulcers and uh, <coughs> in uh, curling ulcer uh, the melina is most common and wherever the location of uh, ulcers based on that slight difference may be seen in clinical features then regarding the treatment of curling ulcer and cushing ulcers both are ulcers so that's why we are treating with h2 receptor blockers proton pump inhibitors then uh, sucralfate uh, that is uh, ulcer healing agents then symptomatic treatment also we can give it but in case of uh, cushing ulcers we are doing vagotomy as a last choice 
So this is regarding the treatment of uh, curling ulcer and Cushing ulcers. Both can treat with uh, all these uh, proton pump inhibitors, H2 receptor block blockers, ulcer healing agents, then um, uh, symptomatic treatment you can done, then uh, uh, IV fluid therapy, then uh, intravenous, th oh, sorry, IV fluid therapy, then uh, the patient may uh, sometimes uh, always in NPO status. So, uh, all this can be done as a management. So, this is regarding the difference between curling ulcer and Pushing answer. Thank you.